Hey, so welcome back. Uh, today with the Indie Travel Podcast community, I'd like to show you how to uh, add photos and videos to really make people jealous about what you're doing, uh, which is all part of the fun really, isn't it? So uh, as you can see, I've already logged in as Craig the Tester here at IndieTravelPodcast.com and after I logged in, it brought me straight to my activity page. So I've had a check, there's no new notifications, and I'm ready to post some great photos of uh, a scenic flight that we did the other day. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is come here and jump into the gallery. And I'm actually going to do the gray one here, which says Gallery Zero. So instead of filtering, I'm actually going into the gallery page. Here we go. And uh, I've got no photo galleries yet, so I'm going to create one. Uh, here you have to choose between photo and video. Unfortunately, you can't mix them yet. So it's going to be a photo gallery. Uh, scenic flight over South Australia. Uh, that'll do for that. Uh, maybe add in some more detail. Go. Uh, I'm going to make it public so you can see it and uh, save this gallery. Now that it's saved, I obviously want to upload some photos. So I'm going to hit browse and I've already exported some photos out of, um, out of um, iPhoto. Of course, if you're using a Mac, you've got things down here that you can go in and find it. But I've already created one. Um, called Scenic Flight. Let's see if I can find it. But I'm just going to select these ones here and open them up. Now the biggest they're going to display on the Indie Travel Podcast screen is 600 pixels wide. So if you are exporting photos ready to upload, making them 600 wide will save a lot of time on the upload. Here they all are ready to go and I'm going to click Upload and Save. And what you should see as it goes is the photos kind of appearing on the screen as they go through. So that's all good. Let's, uh, cool, one more. Perfect. So now I've got the chance to give them a title and put a little bit of information on. Okay, so I've taken a few minutes to, uh, to add in titles and descriptions for all of these, and I've got to choose one of them to set as the cover. Now, I really love the colors on this one, so I'm just going to click Set Cover, and that's going to be used to, uh, to display it everywhere. Last thing to do, hit Save. And away we go. Up the top of the page here, we're going to see, yep, it's been updated. That's perfect. So, um, I now have a gallery, and here, if I come up to the community and recent activity, I'm now going to be able to see my photos in the, uh, in the public sphere. So, there we go, there's six of them there, and down here on the sidebar, no, that hasn't been updated yet. Great, so there's my gallery ready to rock and roll, and uh, here it is. So I can uh, grab the link, share it with people, I can invite people to come and see it, uh, I can send a direct message to my friends, and uh, it's already published in the public activity feed, so it's there for everyone to see and be able to comment on. Uh, if you want to add more, you just come into your galleries and click edit, and if for any reason you want to get rid of things, you just hit delete. It's nice and easy. Uh, to upload more images, well, the upload button. So it's it's really easy and everyone's got half a gig and if you resize your photos to um, 600 pixels wide before you send them up that will last you for the rest of your life I'm quite sure. So we're really looking forward to seeing your photos and seeing your travels here on Indie Travel Podcast and I hope it's going to be a great place to show off to your friends and make new travel friends here.